This video will discuss how to export connected data and import it into Power BI. First, what do you need? For a local install, you would need a copy of Connected, the desktop or online version of Power BI, and Microsoft Excel, which is optional. You can also use text files. If you're using our online version or our Connected On Demand, you would need access to the online version of Power BI, as well as possibly access to Microsoft Excel as well. So how does the process work? First, within Connected, you'll export the data that you want in whatever format with whatever information that you need. This information can come in different ways. Your summary data, transactional data, as well as preset reports that you can use. However you use it, you import that data into Power BI. From there, you use Power BI in order to build reports, custom dashboards, and whatever it is that you need. Most reports can be saved from connected in these data export formats, Microsoft Excel, comma separated text files, or tab delimited text files. Any one of these can be used within the Power BI formats. You can use standard reports, which are both transactional and summary. You can use ledger and query windows, great sources for data queries. They can be saved, easy to modify, as well as flattened exports, which require no formatting, have the raw data and are ready to use. Connected has various standard reports that are available in each of the modules. These reports can be exported to Excel and massaged to get the data or the formats that you want to use within the Power BI environment. Many of them also have the ability to just be fully exported um, and some are flattened exports. The ledger and query windows are a great source in Connected to be able to customize the data that you're looking for. There are queries and ledgers in each of the modules and they can be saved, they can be modified and used over and over again. So let's make a report using some data. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here in the sales and receivable module, and I'm going to use the sales ledger. It defaults to a view that I use called current customer balances, but that's not the one I want. So I'm going to change it to a saved view that I have called sales by region. And this is the data that I'm going to export. Here, I'm going to use the export to Excel button, and this is going to create a file that I can then save anywhere on my computer. Once I've done that, I can pop over here to the Power BI desktop application, and within it, you can see different options. Here is my saved export from Connected. And what it's doing now is it's just reading that data, and it's going to set it up in a format way, which will be really easy for me to use. Here's the data that's about to be exported or imported. And once that's completed, Power BI gives you the option here to start putting together the data or visuals that you want. I'm going to start with a very simple one, which is going to be sales by region. And you can see here very quickly that you get that completed. I'm going to take that same data now, and I'm just going to create a pie chart using the same data, selecting the same options. You can see how quick it is. Another piece of data maybe I would want is sales by customer. So I'll add the name and I'll add the sales total here. Or perhaps sales by, let's see, a salesperson. And for that, I'm going to use a chart format here and start with the sales rep name. And again, include the totals. Maybe I want to see that in a graphical format. You can just highlight that box and change that format to whatever you want. You can see here very quickly, within less than a couple of minutes, we were able to create from Connected four different types of graphs or reports. So that's it. That's how easy it is. Very simple example. If you have any questions, if you're interested in learning more, you can go ahead and contact us at accountdeck.com or on the number below here. Thank you.